The Walking Dead Season 7 is almost back as the premiere is going to be tomorrow night, at least when I'm recording this. Probably going to be uh, tonight by the time I upload this video. But yeah, Season 7 is going to be back. I'm excited probably as much as the next guy. And I decided I would want to do a video about The Walking Dead before it comes back because I'm insane. I'm really excited. And I thought I would do a sort of thing where I break down, because I know there's going to be some other deaths later in the show. That's what the show is mostly known for. So I'm going to be breaking down how likely it is for each of the main characters to be killed off within the next half of the season, at least, possibly leading into season eight. Like, if they're going to die within the next year or two. So... I'm going to break this down into areas of where everybody is in the show right now. So I'm going to start off with um, the Alexandrians, everyone who's in Alexandria right now. Um, first off is Rick Grimes, who is the lead of the show, has been since the very beginning of the show. Um, detective Rick Grimes, a uh, sheriff. Sorry, why did I say detective? Um, but in terms of probability, with the next couple seasons, it would be an extreme shocker if they killed him off. That would be worldwide news. So, unless something immense changes, I give him a 0% probability of being killed off. Because he's the lead, and if they kill him off, it's going to be a wholly, totally different show, and they don't want to go for that right now. So, Rick, 0%. Next up is his son, Carl Grimes. And Carl, I'd say he has more of a shot of being killed off than Rick, but still, it ain't going to happen. I know that Chandler Riggs is going to be going to uh, college soon. He's the actor who plays Carl. So um, there's that. But still, I don't think he's going to be killed off at all. He is getting a 2% probability that he is going to be killed off. Next up, we have Sasha. She is pretty torn up after, uh, after Abraham's death. And if they're going with the whole plotline from the, from the comics, I think she's going to get the Holly death from All Out War Part 1. So I'm definitely going to go with thinking that she is going to be killed off within the next year or two. And also because the actress, Sonico Martin-Green, has been cast as the lead in Star Trek Discovery back on CBS. So she's going to be very busy for the next year with that show. And I don't think she's going to be able to come back to film for Walking Dead all the way back in Atlanta. So I'm giving her a 70% probability of being killed off. Next up, we have Morgan. Man, Morgan's really cool. I like his character. Uh, but the sad thing is he is uh, pretty likely to be killed off. Especially since in the comics, by the time they had gotten to the Negan stuff, uh, Morgan was already dead. Because that whole big thing where the zombies swarmed Alexandria from season six. Morgan died during that in the comics. And the only reason they wouldn't do that in the show is because they just introduced him while they had him be a main part of the cast in the comics for a lot longer, for a lot. He had been there for more lengthy amount of time than he had in the show so far. So they didn't kill him off yet. I'm saying the Holly death, people are, everyone's theorizing, who's going to get the Holly death? I'm saying it's either going to be Sasha or Morgan. So I'm giving Morgan a maybe a 50% probability. You could like flip a coin to tell. And then next is Rosita. Uh, no, I'd say she might get the Holly death if they want to be surprising. But with the track that they've been going on with the show so far this season, I'm saying they're not going to stray too far away from the comics. I'm saying Rosita is probably not going to die, she is going to get a 10% probability. So, most likely not. Next up is uh, Rick Squeeze right now, Michonne. And I'm going to guess right now, right off the bat, with how the season's going, how her character's going, that she is not going to die within the next couple seasons. And I'm saying that right now, because if they kill her off, there will be huge fan backlash. And if they kill her off my god no that would that just would start a wildfire she will not be killed off she just won't and then uh she's getting a five percent probability of being killed off next up we've got literally everyone's favorite character according to the internet daryl 
and I am going to go with the same thing with Rick, that if they kill him off, there will be mass outrage. People will stop watching the show. There will be huge petitions to uh, boycott AMC. So I'm giving him a 0% probability. He is not going to get any of the deaths in the comics that are coming up. He's not going to be killed off. He's going to stay around for as long as the show is. Him and Rick are going to be the two characters that stay for the whole show. Yeah. Daryl, 0% probability. It just, it's just not going to happen. Um, next up, we have Aaron. Aaron? I'm going to say probably not. Because as his character's been going this past season, I think he has been not in the limelight like many characters have been but right before they were killed off. Denise, anyone? Like, they spent a whole episode with her talking, and then she got an arrow through the head. I'm going to say no. Aaron is not going to die because I feel like his character's been redeemable. His character has been uh, well written for the past season or two and he is one of the only remaining links from the beginning of alexandria he's one of the only people in the show right now that are still alive that were originally a part of alexandria before the rest of them were so yeah i'm gonna say aaron gets a 20 percent probability because they could kill him off still he's still expendable but i'm gonna say no tara is up next the character who got her limelight in an episode recently that was panned by everybody that I still thought was really well done, and I gave it like a 9 out of 10, or an 8 out of 10 on IMDb. Even more review if you want to look for it. But um, she's a good character, and I'm going to say she's equally as expendable as Aaron is, but if not like a little bit less, I'm going to give her a 30% probability because I don't think that they have, they're going to kill her off anytime soon, really. If they're going to kill her off. I think, I think they're going to save her for a couple more seasons because she's one of the only remaining links to the governor, too. So she's an important plot point in the show right now, especially with the links between each portion of the story. So Tara, yeah, she's getting a 30% probability. Let's move over towards... Let's move over to the hilltop. So some hilltop characters. The, the, the one who's in the limelight right now is Maggie. Maggie Ree. I'm going to go with the same thing I said with Carl, that if they killed her off, it would be a huge shocker. But given how the comics went and given how the show is going right now, I'm going to give her a 1% probability. She's just not going to die. And uh, if they do kill her off, that would be extremely shocking. And yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just not going to happen. 1% probability for Maggie. And then next up is... Uh, Excuse me for a second. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. He's a great character. Um, I'm also going to go with a similar thing as Maggie saying he will not die. They have a lot of plot to build up with him, especially with as, with the comics. He's kind of expendable, but as at the same time, I'm going to give him a 2%. He's just, they're not going to kill him off. They don't have the guts to yet. So, yeah, he's just not going to die. Next up at the hilltop, Gregory. No, not really. I Not yet. I know he's going to be killed off within the next, like, two or three seasons, but not within the next uh, season and a half, at least. I'm going to give him a 40%, because they could still kill him off early, but I know he's going to be dying within the next couple seasons, for sure. Gregory, he ain't going to live. He ain't going to live too long. And then let's switch up gears and move once again over to the kingdom. So... Over at the kingdom, the leader of the kingdom, King Ezekiel. King Ezekiel, I say they just introduced him, and if they killed him off, it would be extremely surprising. So I'm going to give him like 15% of probability of death. Like, I don't think they're going to kill him off yet, at least. And then the other character who's at the kingdom right now who just doesn't want to leave, Carol. Carol. She's a bit she's a bit of a struggle there. She is somewhat expendable based on how they're portraying her right now. They're portraying her to be a little bit less uh a little bit less on everybody else's side. She just wanna be on her own. She doesn't want to be involved in the conflict, which will be a part of pretty soon, I'm assuming. I say no. I say she has a twenty percent probability of being killed off, and if they do kill her off, it'll be extremely shocking. Um twenty percent probability. She's just probably not gonna die anytime soon if she ever does. Uh so I do believe that is the end of the survivors for me. And then let's switch gears and move over to the evil side of the show. And this will be including characters who are currently at the Sanctuary or 
or or and or uh, are affiliated with the Saviors in any way. So, starting off right away, the leading man himself, uh, Lucille's best friend, Negan. No, I'm saying he's not gonna die because it, I don't think they're gonna stray from the All Out War storyline because he just still has a role to play when the Whispers show around come up. So, I'm gonna give him a 20% probability they could kill him off early and have someone else fill his role from the Whisperer War storyline, but I'm going to say no. He's not going to be killed off. Just because... Just because Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he's such a good actor. He plays it so well. He has the best dialogue on the show, and he's just such an entertaining character. He took off... He took the spot as my, as my favorite character on the show right now. So I'm going to give him a 20% probability. He ain't going to die. Sorry, guys. Next up is one of his right-hand men, Dwight. I'm going to see him being redeemable as being one of the characters they can, that, that's going to be redeemed and is going to switch sides. Because in the comics, he eventually leads the saviors after uh, Rick overthrows Negan. So I'm going to say he's probably not going to die. I'm going to give him a decent amount of time to live out. I'm going to give him a 40% probability. He's closer to a coin flip for me. But um, yeah, probably not, but he still could. He's still expendable. Sherry. Oh, Sherry. Oh, my God. Uh, she's very close to a, she's She has a coin flip for me. She has a 50% probability. Because just um, how she's so... The, her future in the show is so uncertain. She could be a help for Daryl. She could be a help for Dwight. We just don't know what her role is right now. And whenever you're uncertain about a character's role in The Walking Dead, it could either mean that they're going to die or they're going to live and they're, you're going to be more certain. You never really know. It's just a coin flip. So I'm going to say 50% probability, like I said. And then next up, one of Negan's right-hand men as well, Simon. Yeah, he's going to die. He's going to be one of the... He's going to be uh, probably the biggest savior debt that propels Negan to want to go for all-out war. I'm going to give him an 80% probability because I can just picture him being like a driver who's like driving the truck for Negan and then like... Uh, well, there, there's a scene in the comics when when uh, they're at Alexandria. It's right after Spencer dies in the comics, so the timeline would be a little bit wonky for the show. Um, Negan's leaving. He's, he's in the passenger side uh, in the front in the front of the car, and uh, someone's in the driver's seat, and then someone just someone just shoots him, the, the driver, point blank. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Rick. And I would just imagine that being Simon. That, that being a Simon death, that would propel Negan to just go crazy and go the bat crap crazy on them. So yeah, I'm saying Simon will die. He's going to die. And then Eugene. Eugene. He is being held prisoner by the Saviors currently. And I'm going to go ahead and say, no. I think he's got some, some time still to expand his character. Although he does have the still has the risks of being of being expendable because of uh, how much he's done on the show already, I would I'm giving him a thirty percent probability he still has the chance of dying, but I don't think they're going to kill him off yet. I think he's got some uh, some more time on the show to play out. So I do believe that culminates my list and ends it off. So, out of all those characters, who do you think is going to die? Who do you think is going to live the longest? Rick, Daryl. Uh, Carl, Maggie, who do you think is going to live the longest on the show? You think it's, do you think it's going to be Carol? I think it might be Carol too. But uh, anyway, are you guys excited for Walking Dead premiere? If you are, please let me know in the comment section below and tell me what you think of the show right now because I'm thinking of doing a review sort of thing expressing, expressing my opinion on how the show is going right now. But anyway, if you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to check out more of my videos, please go ahead. I'm going to have links in the description. I'm going to have annotations and stuff. So, until next time, guys, adios amigos.